Hey there! In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Artix acrylic markers and alcohol markers. Initially, I was just going to look at the acrylic markers, but then I realized that they also have alcohol markers in chisel and brush nibs, so I had to try them out. I'm going to try to make this review quick and concise for those of you who are in a hurry, and I honestly just don't like super long reviews. So I hope you enjoy! So right off the bat, let's look at the alcohol markers. So they sent me the skin tone set which came with quite a lot of colours along with a swatch sheet. So as you can see right now, I'm just swatching it with black and white on top. So I kind of know what it'll look like with line art and highlights. I like to use this trick every single time I get new alcohol markers or art supplies. That way I kind of can plan ahead. So one of my favourite things about these markers is they come in this really cute packaging box. And the box is super duper sturdy, so that protects each marker very well. Now, while I'm doing the line art for this new art piece in the background, let's talk about the quality and my thoughts on these alcohol markers. So for a bit of context, to see how credible I am and whether you should trust what I say, I've been drawing with alcohol markers for over five years now, so it is one of my most comfortable art mediums. So I do try to find out the best way to use alcohol markers and also which products are best to work with. So this does depend on the brand that you go with, the paper that you draw on, and also the type of effect you want your drawings to have. In terms of the alcohol markers that I have used, I can compare these products to the Copic, Ahuhu, and the Winsor and Newton ones. So in terms of quality and pigmentation, these markers are actually surprisingly good. I feel like they are quite comparable to the Ohuhu ones in terms of the texture and the flexibility of the nibs. So if you compare the Ohuhu to the Copic brush markers, the Copic ones are actually a lot more flexible and soft. Meanwhile, the Ohuhu ones are kind of a little more stiff. I mean, they are flexible, but they're not as like brush-like, if that makes sense. So for the Artix ones, they are kind of more like the Ohuhu ones where they're not super duper floppy and soft. And in terms of the pigmentation and colors, they're quite comparable to the Copic and Ohuhu ones where it's very pigmented. I did notice one thing though, for the Artix alcohol markers, when you color onto the page, it does have the little dotty effect that Copic markers have. So for those of you who do like that type of effect, it would be really good. So for this drawing, I did use my go-to skin color tone. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but it does have a little bit of that dotty effect when it draws onto the paper, which does have a nice like traditional look to it. But for those of you who don't like that type of effect, then maybe stay away from this marker, or it might just be the paper that I'm using. But overall, this is quite a solid alcohol marker. It also layers quite well, so I'm quite happy with it. Okay, now moving on to the acrylic marker set, which I am very, very excited to try out and show you my thoughts. So for a bit of context, whenever I draw with alcohol markers, I did start off with just doing alcohol markers and using like fine liners to add detail. But then later on, I started experimenting with gouache, acrylic paint, and just mixed media forms to add a pop of color, dimension, and texture to my drawings. So that has been my go-to traditional art style for a little while. Now the issue with using acrylic gouache and acrylic paint is it's kind of finicky and very messy and very stressful sometimes because the paint would dry really quickly or even the brushes that I used were not fine enough or I don't know, there was just a lack of access to color and just a lot of issues with just using traditional gouache on top of my paintings. So when I found out that there's actually markers with fine tips, it was almost a game changer for me because it's kind of like using alcohol markers with the brush nib, but instead of alcohol paint or alcohol pigment, it's actually acrylic paint. I know that a couple of brands did come out with acrylic paint markers, but then the, the nibs are like the big sharpie or maybe not sharpie like the posca markers where you have to like shake the pen and then the acrylic paint will come out but then the cool thing about these markers is that it's actually brush based so you can do like big strokes tiny strokes 
little details or even just really cool different textures. So I found that really cool. My only concern is whether the brush nibs would dry out. I guess only time can tell whether that'll happen. So I might do a follow-up review to see how that works. But overall, this has been a super cool new product. It's very pigmented, so as you can see, I'm adding dots of yellow or dots of lighter blue on top of the darker ones, and it's very pigmented. I also love how the white marker is super pigmented and also super duper pointy, so I can add like tiny little details like sparkles, highlights, and shines. So I'm overall really happy with these acrylic markers. Okay, so we're at the end of this review and I hope you did enjoy the little speed paint or the drawing process in the background and found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, do remember to subscribe and give me a like and comment what other types of videos you want to see in the future. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye! Terrible things started happening when you walked away So that's why I stay right here Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach You're crystal clear, you don't disappear